Hey, Dr. Bob here with Active Life Chiropractic, and in this short video, I just want to talk about intrinsic muscles. So I'm gonna show you what they are and how they can actually cause back pain, and then I wanna show you what you can do to actually strengthen these muscles to help ease some of the back pain that you're having, especially if it's recurrent back pain too. Um, so intrinsic muscles are the smaller muscles that line your spine and they stabilize your spine. So if these muscles aren't strong or if they're damaged, uh, if they're weak, um, if there's an underlying issue that's, that's affecting these muscles, they're not able to stabilize your spine and it's going to cause problems in that area. So this would be someone that bends over to pick something up and their back gives out on them. Or someone that can't do certain movements because they know certain movements are going to actually trigger their lower back pain. So they avoid things that, that cause it. You know, th these are signs of weak intrinsic muscles. And these muscles are different than the extrinsic muscles, which are the larger ones that move your body around. So bicep muscles are extrinsic, uh, pec muscles, triceps. These are the larger ones that you know you can see, and those are the ones that people like to work out because they make you look good when they're strong and they're strengthened and they're toned and everything like that. But the intrinsic muscles are very important because no matter how good you look, if these intrinsic muscles are weak, you're gonna be walking around with back pain all the time. And you're just not gonna look very good. So we have to work on these intrinsic muscles. Now, some of the reasons that people would have problems with intrinsic muscles would be um, if you have a repetitive job, if you're sitting at a desk all day, if you're kind of hunched over a computer, you know, you're gonna atrophy these muscles because they're always being worked and you basically wear them out. Um, if somebody just doesn't work the muscles out very often, um, you know, think like a, like a couch potato or somebody that's not very active, the muscles will become weak. Um, and, you know, so that would be a cause. Or if you had damage to your spine, like a shot, some sort of an injury can actually damage the intrinsic muscles too. Or it could be an alignment issue, which is what I treat in my office. So you know, if your spine should be straight and all these muscles are attaching to it and your spine starts to shift out of place, it'll take some of the muscles with it and stretch them. So it's like your spine goes, the muscle goes, and that muscle is gonna become weak. And no matter how often you work on that muscle, if the alignment is still shifting, it's gonna keep coming back over and over again. And that's what I would treat in my office. But I wanna show you some exercises and stretches to work on these intrinsic muscles, get them strong so that they can stabilize your spine. They're gonna keep you upright, improve your posture, and hopefully eliminate some back pain. Okay, so here are the five exercises to strengthen these intrinsic muscles. First one are called Superman's. So looks like looks like the movies. Uh, it looks like Superman, like you're trying to fly. You're gonna hold that position right there for three to four seconds. Make sure your head is looking straight up. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. You're gonna repeat this 10 times. Again, hold each one for three or four seconds. It's a great exercise for strengthening these muscles. And then you're gonna go into what we call swimming. So you're also gonna do this 10 times. You're gonna hold each movement for three or four seconds. But in this one, you're going to alternate your hand and opposite leg on each side. But again, once you get into this, you know, and you're on your 10 reps of the Supermans and you're getting into like your 15th rep of these, you'll definitely feel these. These are pretty tough, but you can strengthen these muscles pretty quickly also. And then you're gonna go into what we call renegades. So you hold this push-up position, make sure your back and hips are in a straight line. I'm actually a little rounded in this picture, but you wanna make sure you're trying to stay as straight as you can. And you're gonna hold each one of these movements for three to four seconds also. This is all about balance, so you have to balance on each side when you tuck your hand into your into your hip and the muscles are stabilizing your spine. So it's you'll see these are all balance exercises. And then the next one is reverse flies. You're gonna do this movement 10 to 15 times. If this is easy for you, you can grab you know five, 10 pound weights and do this, but you want to make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, almost like you were trying to make your shoulder blades touch each other on this movement and then you hold it at the top of each contraction there. And then from this one you're going to go right into a plank. So you're going to hold this position on your hands and knees. Hold it as long as you can. If you can get you know, a couple of minutes out of it, great. If not, just go as long as you can go and then rest and then go on to your side and you're going to want to do this side plank on both sides. So just hold this as long as you can. Like I said, if it's tough for you to do this movement, you can actually plank on your knees like I'm showing you here. Hold that as long as you can go. All right, so hopefully you got some great information from this video. Um, if, you, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like it, share it, comment on it, give me some feedback on it, let me see what you think. And if you're somebody that 
is, is, you know, looking at this video and you're like, I work on these muscles all the time. I do rigorous stretching and strengthening. I work on my core all the time and I still have these recurring back issues. Then, you know, and, and I'm saying the intrinsic muscles probably aren't involved, but there's some sort of underlying cause to that. Like I said earlier, it could be an alignment issue within your spine. So if something shifts, it's causing the imbalance. And no matter how often you work on these muscles, to change the alignment, it's not gonna go away. So if that's the case, then I encourage you to come in, let me do a consultation and examination, and I can usually tell you on the spot if this is an issue that I can help you with, and if I can't, I can usually push you in the right direction also. So visit our website, www.activelifenc.com. You can see services, rates on there, you can actually schedule through our website, or give us a call, 980-406-3862.